assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to solve some examples related to the capacitance calculation of the transmission line in example number 1 we are considering a single phase transmission line that has uh, two parallel conductors Three meters apart, and the radius of each of the conductor is one centimeter. So we have to calculate capacitance of the line per kilometer. Now we know the formula of the capacitance is pi k over ln d over r and this is line to line capacitance and this k value is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per meter the permittivity value permittivity constant value the radius value is 1 centimeter so r is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter d is equal to 3 meter and the k value is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per meter. So if we will put all these values in this capacitance formula, you will get C is equal to 3.142 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 over ln 3 divided by 1 into 10 raised to minus 2. So the final value of line to line capacitance is 4.87 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per meter but in question the value was asked in per kilometer so now we have to just multiply it with 1000 so the final value of CAB in farad per kilometer is 4.87 into 10 raised to minus 9 farad per meter and now if you are asked to find the line to neutral capacitance then you just have to multiply it with 2 you will have line to neutral capacitance because the formula of line to neutral capacitance is 2 pi k over ln d over r in example number 2 we have a three phase line in which conductors are in horizontal plane and the distance between the first two conductors is through 2 meter and the second two co uh, conductor is 2.5 meter and distance between the conductor A and C is 4.5 meter the diameter of the conductor is 1.25 centimeter and if the length of the line is 100 kilometer find capacitance per phase and charging current per phase So uh, we will be starting from the formula of capacitance C A N is equal to 2 pi K L N D equivalent over R. So this is line to neutral capacitance. We know the value of uh, pi that is 3.142. Value of K is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per meter. D equivalent value is D equivalent is equal to actually cube root of D A B D B C and D C A. So this will be 2 into 2.5 into 4.5 which is 2.82 meter. So this is your D equivalent value which is actually the GMD and the radius of the conductor is 
1.25 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter divided by 2 so now the capacitance value will be CAN is equal to 2 into 3.142 into 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 divided by ln 2.82 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 2 so CAN will be equal to 0 0.0091 into 10 raised to minus 9 farad per kilometer this is meter so now to convert it into kilometer it will be 0 0.0091 into 10 raised to minus 6 farad per kilometer and for the whole length of the line CAN will be 0 0.91 into 10 raised to minus 6 farad so this is the capacitance of a line having length 100 kilometer so this was the first part of the question in the second part we have to calculate the charging current and the formula for the charging current is V over X C and this voltage is actually the phase voltage and if now we consider that the line is of 66 kilovolt then this is the line to line voltage and we have to put uh, the phase value of the voltage here so therefore we will divide this 66 K divided by under root 3 and the value will be 38.1 kilo volt and for XC we know that 1 over 2 pi FC is the value for the capacitive reactance so it will give you the value of the denominator so IC will be equal to 38.1 into 10 raised to 3 into 2 into pi value which is 3.142 into hertz 50 hertz and 0.91 into 10 raised to minus 6 so the charging current value will be 10.9 ampere so this was the second part of the question so in the second part you just have to remember that the voltage in the numerator is the phase voltage and the value of the voltage that is given in the question is usually line to line voltage unless it is mentioned there this is the line to neutral voltage you always have to consider it as a line to line voltage so then you have to convert it into phase voltage by dividing it with under root 3 and then you have to calculate the value of reactants you will get the charging current value equal to 10.9 ampere thank you